Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of The Grid. My name is RC, and I'm joined this week by Mr. Brad Moore, the How's ever luscious. Going? What's going on? I've got what, no, going, uh, not much, Mr. <laughs> Moore. What's going on, man? How are you doing? I hit the mic. I am good. How are you? Good, good, good. I'm very happy to have you kind of away from the... Yeah, the, over here on the main set. Right, on the ugly lights. For the most part, you still happen to do pretty good, pretty good, so Thanks. ever luscious. So we're very happy to have him here. Thanks for all of you guys for coming by. Uh, we're going to spend our time talking about website critiques, right? Mm-hmm. Let's just, we kind of want to get right to it. There was a lot of you guys that went on Facebook and submitted your pictures, right? There was a link. You sent them a mm-hmm. link to do that. And Brad pulled all of that information, and we figured we would just jump in and just I, talking about website critiques. So the way, the way we have this set up, I literally just went into all of the submissions and opened every single link that had come in between the time we put it out there and came over to the set. So what we're gonna do, I have all of the websites open, we're just gonna start on a random one, and then we're gonna close it, and whatever pops up, we'll go to that one. Right, so So, it'll be just, I mean, we're gonna try our best to be able to do this. This isn't necessarily something that we're gonna do that's gonna be kind of a console, right? We don't wanna go kind of point by point, but you know, if you're doing something great on your website, then great, good on you. You know, we wanna be able to go, Mm-hmm. Got it. That's awesome. And get out there and do that. Um, <clears throat> if you're not doing something that's very good, we want to talk a little bit about what you can do to kind of make it better. And I think that one of the things that you'll notice the most out of all of this kind of stuff is um, there's a, a series of common patterns. And, and I'll let mm-hmm. you guys take a look at them and then you know we'll talk about them at the end. But that's pretty much it. That's all we're going to do. Scott is actually out. Yep. Right. He's out traveling, mm-hmm. doing some stuff. Uh, and... He'll be back next week. I, I, I'm assuming sure, yeah. that he's going to be back next yeah. week. Now, uh, for prizes, we are going to give away this. Just in. We literally just got this shipment of books in today. Right. So the Lightroom CC book for digital photographers, right? So if you're using Lightroom 6, Lightroom 5, this is going to be something as far as you. So it's hot off the presses. We're very happy to have it. Thanks to our friends over at Peach Pit. And it's a heavy book, I got to tell yeah. you. If, if you haven't done Lightroom or if you've, if you haven't done Lightroom, it's going to be a great book for you to kind of get. Mm-hmm. You know, under your belt. So if uh, you've pre-ordered, we got these are this. We we always get an advance shipment of books when they come out. So we got that. So that means that the real shipment should be hitting stores in the next week or so. Right. But if you want it immediately, you can go get the digital version. The digital version is available now on whatever platform you prefer. Right. So that'll be available to you. Now uh, let's go ahead and get. Let's go ahead and go in. So we are monitoring the chat, right? So if you're watching this, make sure that you pop out the chat. Go into the chat section. Um, there are here. People ask this all the time. This is the best way to do it. If you're Make inside of here, to the thing, so they can see what you're doing. Go to the thing. Go to the video control room one. Well, here I'm here already, right? No. So no, no, no. He's it's already there. I oh, got it. Got it. Hi, got it. Sorry. So inside of here, right? If you haven't seen it, this I'm going to show you how to do it. If you're watching the grid right from this one section, you'll have an area called chat and social stream here, right? Chances are it's probably a chat which doesn't have a pop-up window right here on the right. So what I would do is, oh look. Oh my God, I would love this book. Really don't want my site critique, Lani, Utah. I hope it shows up. Go over to the social stream section and you'll see that you get a pop-up box right here now that lets you pop it out. You click on pop out. This opens it in a new window, right? If you hold down the command key and click on it, you can also pop it out into a brand new window here. And then you can just, once you're there, then you can just kind of click on the word chat now you have it in a whole window. So I'll be popping in and out of that, right? So because it's just Brad and I working yeah. on this, so we're going to try to pull triple duty for most of that stuff. We want to give away the book. If you guys have any information, we want to make sure that we give it out. Thank you so much, everybody, for stopping by. Uh, buenos dias para toda la gente que quieren que yo hable español. And let's right. kind of get it out of the way. Uh, Brad, so you have the first, the, the first website yes. up. So, and by submitting your... You, you know that people are going to be looking at this. We're not going to put links on with the web, with the show or anything, but you know people can see your URL. So here we go. We're starting with Joe Hudspeth. Okay, so, so Joe Hudspeth. Let's take a look at his, web, his website right here. Um, so this is the homepage here. Okay. Uh, do, you, do you want to go through or do you want to start here and well, let's give your just initial kind of scroll, thoughts? Let's, let's kind of just scroll down here and let's just That's see it. what's happening. Boom, then, oh, okay. All right. So... So a couple of things that I would probably say right off the bat when we're working with that, right? Welcome to my website. I hope you enjoy seeing the photographs of amazingly beautiful country as much as I enjoyed meeting them. Please click on any, who cares, right? It's, it's not anything that anybody cares about. It's one of those things. It's not an artistic statement. I, and I'm sorry, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna try to be. I don't want to necessarily be mean about this, right? right? Because you guys get plenty of mean and plenty of. I would never put this up there. 
other places, right? This is not this show. This is not this show today. Everything we say, um, we're just trying to help. And we're going to try to do it out of love. Now, I would tell you that right off the bat, when you look at the website, one of the things that stands out to me the most is right here, from here to here, that is a lot of real estate for you to spend showing me who you are, showing me the fact that you're on Facebook, Twitter, or, or Google+. Plus. Um, and then from here to here, you use the entire section that says home. Welcome to my website. And you're telling me a whole bunch of stuff that as a photographer, I really, I just want to see your images. I want to see, you have an impression that you need to give to somebody in a very, very short amount of time. And if you don't meet that impression, they're out. They're not going to spend time taking a look at it. I don't even know what it is that you're looking at down at the bottom. And before but we even see anything, you got to scroll all the way down here. Right. And again, we're not going to talk about photo critiques. Scott does photo critiques, right? And we're happy to jump in and help, but this isn't a photo critique class. Not to say that you need it because you happen to, well, actually, that's not true. I just saw your copyright logo on one of the pictures. Yes, you do need it. Please take that off. That's not good. Not good for you to have it. But... Uh, you, you shoot great. I mean, you've got great images to begin with already, but it's 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 being lost with the giant logo that sits at the very very top. And what does that say? I find J HUD. Oh, J HUD. Right. That is a lot of real estate for telling me who you are and what your name is. Right off the bat, you can cut this by a quarter by putting all of this information. You could put Joe Hudspeth. Up about as far as this is at the very, very top. That's about as much space, space right there being wasted. that should take right there. So imagine if it just said Joe Hudspeth right here on the left-hand side, right? And then you had your navigation right here. And then you had the social bars right there. So you would have name, navigation, and the social bars at the very, very top. And it would literally cut a full, oh, three quarters of the page fold right off. You wouldn't need any of that stuff. And then the next thing that people would see would be the image. So that would be the first thing that I would see so right there. Where do you want to go next here? Um, once you do that, well, let's click on portfolio. Let's see what it looks like. All right. The artsy side, you spelled artsy wrong. That Somebody will probably get to you for that. Uh, classic video. So, yeah. so as soon as they click portfolio, it just takes us to a blank page that says portfolio. Oh, see. So you actually have to go through. That's a personal pet peeve of mine. At least take me to something with images. Don't make me go through each subcategory. Have If you've got all these categories, then you can probably pull your best from each category to make an overall portfolio mm -hmm. before you go into these categories. If you're going to, I mean, if you're going to do that, chances are what's happening here is you wanted this to be kind of a, a section that gave you this drop-down navigation, but then you actually defined it as a page. Not that we want to get into overly technical stuff here, but I will for just one second to kind of show you. Chances are, if you coded this, so let's go ahead and just kind of bring all these windows down, right? You might want to look into doing something like this. Switch over to RC's right? computer so again. So inside of here, what you would do is you would go into, oh, let's see, right? Yeah. Inside of one here, chances are you're doing href equals quote, and then you put in some sort of website address, right? From here, what I would do is instead go back into whatever the code that you had that's there and just add a pound sign. And then it would be portfolio. And then from there, you close the wicket, and it would just look like this. So whatever code you have in your section, just replace it with that pound sign. If you put it with that pound sign, then what's going to happen is when you take a look at that navigation and somebody clicks on it, it's not going to go anywhere. And then people will turn around and go, oh, okay, you'll see that. This doesn't go anywhere. It doesn't show you this page. And then from there, you'll go, okay, well, you want me to go take a look at something like the artsy side. You would click on the artsy side, and... There's a load problem. Again, all of that stuff sits below the fold, which is kind of hard for you to kind of get, you know, into it. So right now, your biggest problem, your site would go from eh to great if you just eliminate the navigation and the menu bar that you have at the very, very top. Right. You do that, and you're going to be in good shape. You're going to be in better shape and than this, you are right now. And this is kind of a semantics thing on, on my part, but when I hear portfolio, I think these are my best 10, 15, 20 images overall. What you have here are galleries. This is not necessarily going to be a portfolio. Right. Right? I mean, do, is that the same No, yeah, I, I'd agree. I'd agree. So it wouldn't hurt if you had portfolio and then galleries. Right. And then this is where the, the, these all live under galleries. Right. So portfolio would be the best of the best. Right. And then gallery would be, I mean, and there's a lot of sub-navigation that sits inside of it too. 
I would call most of that stuff down into one section. Yeah. Now, if you're doing this for yourself and you're doing this for fun, God bless you. This is great. This is wonderful. Uh, from a business standpoint, I would try to limit it. I don't know if you are doing a business or not, so I can't make that assumption. Right. That's what I would do for that. Limit those categories, fan them out a little bit more, take your navigation, move it's it to got the top. A store here. You'll so be pretty good. It's got a something. store. Pages on the construction. If the page is on the construction, take the page off. That's what I tell people all the time. Standard pricing. I don't get into a lot of the pricing uh, too much, you know, but it's totally fine, right? I would, tend to, I would tend to put information, I would put a series of prints on that, on the page. And again, this, this has to do uh, not so much with, with web more than anything else, right? Like if I'm gonna price my image, you're, you're charging eight by 10 for $35, eight by 12 for $40. You could do all of this stuff on SmugMug. If you want, yeah. at that price point, just go into SmugMug, set up a SmugMug account, and let them deal with all of the portfolio stuff. And then you can transactions, credit cards, order fulfillment, and all of that stuff is taken care of, and you don't have to worry about it. So I'm a big fan of the stuff that they do. If you're just going to tell people, email me, and that's what I do with my website. Like, I don't advertise too much that I'm mm -hmm. doing prints because the price that I'm charging on the prints are not necessarily something that I would want fulfilled from smug mug. It's not necessarily uniform across size either, is it? It's going right. to vary from image to image. Right, right. So like the picture that I have of, you know, the, my daughter looking up at my wife is very different from the picture that I have for Dubai and all that right. stuff. But those prices, and I'm not trying to say this because I'm trying to uh, be egoistic or, or any of that kind of stuff, but because I don't sell that many of them, I tend to be a little bit more expensive. Right. Right. So when I'm more expensive, I want to talk to the person. I want to have, I'm going to communicate to the person. I want the person to call me and ask me about the print. I want to tell them, you know, how I'm going to do it. I'm going to work on it. I'm going to print it myself. I'm going to sign it myself. I'm going to take care of most of that stuff. So in those instances, I usually tell people, I do prints. They're limited edition. This is what mm -hmm. happens in size. Please contact me. And I'll, I'll it's go a ahead. high touch. I'll go, I'll go ahead and plug this for you. You've got a class on Kelby One that's all about printing and shipping yep. and why you price things the way you do and have a personal touch and the way, and just in the way that everything's packaged and all that. So if that is something you're interested in, you can go on Kelby One and find that. Right. So, I mean, so those would be things that we would, I, that we would give you from a critique. Yeah. I mean, your photography is great. I think that the overall layout of the website could use a little bit of work. And uh, personally, I I hate hate, <coughs> hate contact forms. Give me if if that's there, fine. But at least give me an email address that I can just click and go into my own email and and contact you. Right. And if you're trying to get work, also include a phone number because the if you're if you're out there trying to get work. Photo editors are going to be trying to get in, co in contact with you, and sometimes they don't prefer email. They prefer phone because they know they can get an immediate response. Right. So right. that's... Now, just a, while we're here, I'm also going to take a question right off of the chat. Sure. Lyles Tavas says, any recommendation for a WordPress team that's just ready to go, simple layout and architecture that highlights the photos? You're asking the right person. Let me just... Uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I tend to be a big fan of this. And now, mind you, I have like a background in web development and things like that. And a lot of the time, I know that photographers don't necessarily want to do all of that stuff on their own. So... I think that it's a good idea for you guys to use something like a theme when, you're, mm -hmm. when it comes to WordPress development and things like that. If you go to my website, aboutrc.com, I'm using a theme, that's, and it's very straightforward, very, very simple. And I tend to be a little bit more bloggy in nature, right. so the blog is the first thing that you see. Right here, for full disclosure, these two guys that are right here, Elegant Themes and Theme Forest, if you click on these links, I will get a kickback. This is a commissioned site. Mm -hmm. So these two things that sit right here are the two places that I would go to now, for theme development. You're not paying rent off these yeah, I'm not, things. But yeah, it's, I don't it's pay, a little, I don't, a little yeah, bit. I'm not though. paying, yeah. and I just tell people all the time about it. You know, If you set up a blog website and you're contributing and you're doing stuff, people expect to see stuff that sits on the right-hand side to do an advertorial thing, right? The, to, to do something that's commission-based. The FCC actually mm -hmm. requires that you tell people that that is there, right? So here's like a, a, a I mean, not FCC, FTC, Federal Trade Right, so it says there's a full disclosure. Yeah. You have to make sure that you put a disclosure on the site. But other than that, I think that if you're not spamming people and you're not doing banners and right. buttons and things like that, if you have a website that provides content in a very easy area, clickable area for those of you who are submitting blogs, if you use your right hand side, use that right hand side for you know sign up for like commission junction, sign up for affiliate account, sign up for all of these different mm -hmm. types of things. If you're sharing of yourself to the world, your photography. You don't want to make rent, but at least try to pay the habit, yeah. you know, feed the habit, go out and click, get people, yep. you know, it'll give me a hundred dollars, two hundred dollars. I tell people that all of the gear that I had to date, I paid for off of the, off of that section that I have right there. Whenever you go to my website, you know, I have all of that money going to like a PayPal account and right. my wife 
uh, lets me have it, which I'm pretty good <laughs> about. And then all of this stuff is paid for that gear. So you should try to do that kind of stuff. So just something to keep in the back of my mind. Yeah. So that that's something that I think that you should, that's that's one of the things that you should continue consider. At least. So do you want to have any input on the logo at all? A logo needs to be smaller, needs to be different, uh, needs to be more professionally done. So that 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 is something. All right, ready to move on? Yep, let's get right. and move on. Close it, see what comes up here. And my computer's running a little bit slow, I think just because I have all these windows open, but mm. anyway. All right, so now we've got Will Musgrove. And I'm, I'm kind of letting you lead on these and then just kind of jumping in because you are a web developer, you have background and all this, so I'm kind of following your lead here. Um, so yeah, you got featured galleries up top, you got portfolio down here. And then you've got all the other categories and stuff over here. So initial thoughts? Uh, something small. I mean, I would just get rid of the photography by Will Musgrove, right? I would just write Will Musgrove. Okay. I mean, it's pretty much apparent that it's photography, photography, right? So that Doesn't part need to of it is okay. Out. Okay. So other than that, I think it tends it's, to look okay. It's clean. It, it's for sure. clean. It's very, very simple. Yeah. Uh, so you're, you're trying to concentrate on this and chat at the same time. So. Uh, yeah, I mean, it seems like it's okay. It, it's click on afternoon shadow. Okay. Okay. So yeah, pretty straightforward, pretty simple. Big images. Not bad. So, so the, okay, so the featured galleries are kind of like the blog, so let's just go straight to the blog. All right, now, one of the things that I'd be concerned about is notice that the photography by Will Musgrove is kind of clipping on right. the right-hand side. Right, but other than that, it doesn't seem like it's too bad. So if the content just moved over a little bit, you'd be fine. So, all right, so blog there. Let's go into one of these categories. And see, like, you, you notice we're probably not really saying a whole lot about this because there's it's so clean and simple, there's not really a whole ton yeah, to Yeah, there's, really no, you know? there's really no... It's kind of um, hard to go wrong with clean and simple. Yeah, I mean, there's there's really nothing wrong. There's nothing wrong with it. I think it's I think it's pretty good. It's pretty clean. I I, I probably would like a little bit more character on the site, mm -hmm. but other than that, it's okay. I mean, it's doing exactly what it's supposed to do. You know, you're okay. It's, you see the pictures. You see, you mm -hmm. get exactly what you want out of it. Click uh, the blog could probably use a little bit more kind of personalization, but other than that, it seems like it's okay. All right, and then you got all your social links there. Got your social links there. You're okay. Small, small change that I would do. I would switch your other stuff so that the main photography by Will Musgrove doesn't chew into the right-hand side. I would so get rid of photography there's some, there's by Will Musgrove. There's something about the blog that makes this a lot bigger than the other pages for some reason. Right. So, But other than that, it seems like it's okay. Pretty straightforward. Nothing really to, nothing really to say for that. For some reason, it's just not sizing down. I don't know. Yep. Anyway, that could be uh, a small nitpick. Other than that, I think he's doing fine. Again, me, same thing here. I'm just not a big fan of forms. Give me an email yeah, address. Put an email address, and then you'll be okay. All right. Photo by Tyson. Again, kind of clean, simple. So yeah. start off with a baby here. Now, what happens if you resize that down? Uh, let's check and see. Does it resize? It resizes. Yeah, so it resizes okay. It doesn't seem like it's too bad. Uh, I, I, I tend to be more of a kind of a purist where I say that the navigation should be on the top rather than the bottom. I think people miss it. But other than that, uh, not too bad. Uh, let's see. So photos by Tyson. Wait. Sports, photography, wedding, about, blog. So okay. you've got so three pictures under photography. Uh, and we go to sports. And then you have an added background with a gallery here. So that's kind okay. of not really uniform. It would, oh, it would make me... It would make me think that, that what they're trying to do is they're trying to advertise their services okay. as a business. Okay. Right? So if I, if I were thinking of that, like the way it's set up, right, Photo by Tyson, makes me think that this person is doing this as a business. Right? So I'm going to make that assumption, right, right off the bat. Um, the one thing that I would be very concerned about when you're doing this, and, and, and this person could just be starting, so that's fine too, is make sure that you're not... Make sure that, that, that if you're going to specialize on one thing, specialize on one thing, right? If you specialize on more than one thing, then people are not going to take you doing any one of those things, I think, seriously right. when you're working with stuff, especially if you're doing, like, kids and senior portraits and weddings and things like that. For me, I think that for the amount of money that you'd actually spend on making a website, I would make little separate websites that show specialists. And the best analogy that I'd ever heard for that was... Uh, let's say that right now I have a heart attack, 
right? If I have a heart attack, somebody pulls me out of here, they grab me and they put me in an ambulance, and they put me in front of three hospitals. One of them says kids hospital, one of them says uh, hospital, and then the one on the right says cardiac clinic. You know, which one are you going to go to, right? Are you going to go to the mm-hmm. hospital, the, 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 the kid hospital, or the specialty heart hospital? If I'm looking for a heart problem, I'm going to go to the specialty heart hospital. And I don't think that when you put all of your services out in one spot, no one sees you as a specialist in any of those services. Mm-hmm. So if you want to do kid photography, then make a kid photography website. If you want to do a wedding photography, do a wedding photography website. In this case, so you go to photography, it's a few pictures of babies, then you've got weddings, and there's a few pictures there, and then you go to sports, and it's a totally different look and feel of a gallery. But what they all kind of have in common with one another, another is they're kind of family-based. Mm-hmm. So what if they were billing themselves as a family photographer? Family moments photographer. You so know, you, call yourself you start family at the moments. beginning, you're at the wedding, then you're yep. at the kids, you know, the babies, and then they grow up and they start playing mm. sports. So you're a family kind of portrait slash documentarian. Right. Now, I will say this, uh, and, and again, I don't, don't mean this disparagingly on, on, on your work, but one of the other things that you might want to take a look at also is that if you are doing this as a business, there is a very, very big jump between what you look like when you're shooting the wedding, like the look and feel of your pictures on the wedding, and the look and feel of the pictures when you're looking at sport. Mm-hmm. Right? It, it almost looks like two completely different people. And I, I think that the sport one doesn't do you any good and doesn't do you any service. Right? You're doing great. It's going wonderful. But it definitely doesn't look as good as your wedding stuff. It definitely doesn't look good as your picture stuff. So if they're not at the same caliber, don't advertise the same service because they're going to just come back and be like, oh, man, your wedding stuff is awesome, but oh, look at the sports stuff. I don't know. I don't know. And then all of a sudden, you're the "Uh, I don't know kind of photographer. So keep that in mind. The last thing that I would tell you about that is if you have uh, clients or you want to be able to show accounts, if you're just starting, great. God bless you. Wonderful. You're doing wonderful. Um, But if you have done this for more than one, don't use more than one picture from the same shoot inside of the same setup. If you have the same baby, don't use two pictures of the same baby. Think of it as comparison, right? If I show people two pictures, A and B, of the same shoot, my mind is automatically going to tell you one of them is better than the other, other, which is cool. There's nothing wrong with that. But the moment that you make one of them better than the other, then the other one is not as good as the first one. And automatically, now you're not as good. You never want anybody to think not as good. So that, that would be a thing. Other than that, it seems like the clean layout, the separation looks like it's pretty good. I'm, I'm um, looking at his about page here, and it, I can, can kind of understand why he's somewhat limited on what he's showing here because he's a staff photographer to newspaper, and he doesn't, as a staff mm. photographer, because I've done that, you don't own those images, so you right. can't put them on your website. They belong right. to the newspaper. Right. Um, so I can kind of see why it's limiting. But I will say this. He's got a nice beard. He's got a nice beard. He's got a great beard. He's got a wonderful beard. I just want to reach out and touch it. But one of the things that I would consider is I would, you know, call it and call yourself an event photographer, an event family photographer or something like that. I think that would be kind of neat. Anyway, let's take a quick break. When we come back, we're going to take a look at a couple more uh, websites and your comments. Make sure you tune back in here on The Grid. There's a really big Lightroom conference coming to Las Vegas. And if you're in the Lightroom, you've got to be there. During this three-day training event, you'll have unlimited access to the world's top instructors in Lightroom. You'll learn from trainers like Scott Kelby, the world's number one best-selling book author on Lightroom, plus Adobe's expert team of instructors like Terry White, Julianne Cost, Brian Hughes, as well as other top instructors in Lightroom training. They'll teach you step-by-step how to take control of your digital photography workflow. If you want to take your Lightroom skills to the next level, you've got to be there. I was drawn to the hot active lava, just for the pure intensity of it, the incredible birth of the earth. The volcano had several elements as a photographer that fascinated me, the light and the movement, just the raw power of it. To me as a photographer, it's, it's as good as it gets. Welcome back, RC here with Mr. Brad Moore What's here up? on The Grid. What's going on, everybody? Uh, let me just go ahead and just take a look at one more thing here, and we are ready for this. Before we actually start, I want to be able to tell you about some new classes that we have, 14, 14 15 brand new classes on mm-hmm. Lightroom, 
in our members area, make sure that you go over to kelby1.com and take a look at that. If you go, let's see, I'm going to bring it up right now. There we go. 15 brand new classes on Lightroom CC by Scott Kelby, myself, and Mr. P. Collins. I mean, everything from like Lightroom in an hour to what's new in Lightroom to, you know, print and book and things like that. They're, they're, it, it's all covered, right? Yep. So he's doing, like Pete did some classes on importing and retouching and presets and killer tips. So there's a bunch of different things. Yeah. If you're new to Lightroom CC, you can go ahead and get started right at kelby1.com. Now, uh, let's go ahead and go back to the website. Right. So let's, uh, let's see. My two cents images, all right? So, all right, so it looks pretty good, right? right? Small small nitpick, right? Just grab my two cents images and pull it up a little bit higher so that it's not sitting there. Uh, I, I think that the my two cents images thing is cute, right? It's kind of, yeah. and for what it's worth, this is what I say, you know? And it leads off with a picture like, hey, I don't know what I'm saying, but you know, <laughs> I, I think it's okay, it's not bad. now. Just for the record, I didn't actually look through all of these websites. I just kind of pulled them up. So I'm hoping that there's no, like, graphic content or anything. Okay. <laughs> no, it looks like it's okay. Oh, well, wait. Look at that. See? Oh, I know who this is. Okay, I know who this is. Graphic that's content not, right that's there. That's not bad. That's pretty good. That guy's <laughs> handsome. I'd, I'd date that. Uh, that? Yeah. Uh, no, no. <laughs> Dude. Not cool. All right. Places. So, uh, so just generally speaking, layout. Is everything? Yeah, I think know. his subjects are magnificent. His male subjects are great. <laughs> he does wonderful. Um, yeah, I, th I think that the website. I think the website is pretty good. Now, I so I know I know Robert, and I know he, he's a shooter. Like he can shoot. I know that he does well. Uh, I love I love the idea of of I love how he set it up. It's very clean. It's very simple. Uh, the only thing that I don't like is that part right there. That one little thing right there. I know that it's the badge for Smug Mug, right? So make sure that you get rid of that or you take care of that. Um, be very careful. And I will, I, I will preface it by saying this. Like, you have a great, you have a great website. Everything looks pretty good. Everything looks pretty clean, right? You're using Smug Mug, so I expect it to look really good and really clean. My, my only concern is don't tell people immediately that you're using Smug Mug, right? Because what happens is if you leave that badge on the left-hand side, if you were doing this as a business, and I know that Rob, I, I don't believe that he is. I don't believe okay. Robert is. But if you were doing this as a business, automatically people are going to be like, Jesus, man, he couldn't spring for the, for the, the actual professional, professional website, yeah. which is one of the reasons I don't like people using websites like Wix. Right. Right. You see Wix on a, you see Wix on Facebook all the time. I created my free website using Wix. Then don't sell me anything. Right. If you can't take your website seriously enough to pay for it, don't sell me anything. So... In that space, I think it's pretty good. I think your I think his website does fine. He's got everything organized the way that he wants to organize it. Got your social pretty stuff straightforward. Down there. Social stuff, social stuff is fine. If, if I were to argue anything, I would say bring his social stuff up a little bit more. Okay. But other than that, I think there's, doing okay. there's a fair amount of space right here. You can bring all of that up some. Yep. Yep. You you totally can. You totally can. So, ready? Yep. Done done well. All right. Diago Cardosa Photography. Again, photography. Don't have to tell people you're a photographer. You have a lot of photography on your page. People are going to assume you're a photographer. Looks like mostly an automotive racing photographer. All right. All right. So while you just look through that real quick, I'm just going to read uh, a, co a couple of comments. So, if you're always in, so Jeremy Green says, so if your website, if you're not ready for a website until your photos have been professionally critiqued, then how as a new photographer are you supposed to show off what you can do to potential clients? Um, that That's a great, it's, it's a great consideration that you have to keep in mind, right? Um, if you're not if you're not good enough to put it onto a website, what I would do is I would take a look at peer groups, right? I would take a look at, you know, go to your. Go, I'm a big fan of Meetup, right? So if you go to Meetup.com, you could sign up and you could find individuals that are doing photography in your area, and I would bring a set of images to them and, and go back and forth with people, collaborate with different people mm -hmm. on stuff. I would go try to find somebody to give you some professional critiques, right? There are places on the internet where you can go and get a professional critique done. Sometimes that will cost money, right? Just full disclosure. Or if you come to Photoshop World. Or you come to Photoshop, <laughs> like you go, you go to something like Photoshop World. One of the things that I hear people go to Photoshop World specifically for the critiques. You mm -hmm. sign up for the critiques, you get people to look through your images, but start small and then work big, right? right? So go to like local, go to your friends, go to Meetup, find people to show them pictures. Now, don't un understand, I can tell you that this image is wonderful and somebody could tell you that this thing is a piece of garbage. Critiques are, everybody has one. Right. Everybody has an opinion about your stuff, and 
you're just going to have to kind of wade through them and find, you know, the one that's going to mostly agree with you. You find somebody that you trust and you talk to them about it. But start locally, then work out bigger. And then once you have that collective body of work, then go ahead and put yourself out there right. on a website for you to be able to do that. I mean, Brad, I know that people will send you messages about mm-hmm. asking for critiques or pictures, and you do them. That is when not to time. say that Brad when will do time. that all the time. But I know people, Photoshop world instructors and things like that, people will ask me on Twitter all the time, hey, can you critique my pictures? You know, if I have a couple of minutes, that's, you know, I'll be like, yeah, it's cool, or yeah, change this. But sometimes it takes a little bit of, you know, a right. time. You have to invest time to be able to do that. But that's how I would wind up doing it. You know, the PPA has also got, like somebody just mentioned, that great way of getting critiques is to enter PPA competitions. Mm-hmm. Stephanie, you're absolutely right. PPA does a really, really good job of, of having these competitions and going back and forth with most of that stuff. Um, so, Diego's a great photographer. Yeah. I mean, the images He's got look, plenty of this. But then yeah. when you get to the other stuff, there's like three or four pictures. So I understand well, why these are a lot bigger. I still appreciate uniformity across a website. So if you're going to have big pictures here, have them on all the page. Yep. Other pages. If you're going to have a grid of pictures, have a yeah, grid, have on a grid all of the pictures. Pages. I mean, you could understand why he's doing it. But yeah, I get it. But at the same time, and then I don't know what this is because it just brings up this thing and there, that's it. I don't. So if you can do something to get rid of that, that would help. And then I don't know if I like. I don't know. The, yeah, way, the staggered but, layout yeah. looks a little weird. So, and then he went the opposite direction of everybody else so far and just has an email address up there, which is fine. Yeah. But it's a little I, sparse. Yeah, it's a bit sparse. Put a picture of yourself. Put a picture something. of another piece of work. Put something Maybe else on top of it. Social links. Social there. links. Move the social links up so that people can actually get to you and talk to you about it. Um, but not too bad. Pick a specific layout. Stick with a specific layout. I think that that part would be fine. So what what would you say as far as having other categories with just a few pictures? Would you say leave those off until you build those up more? Or? I would. I yeah. would. I would. I would uh, think of think of what you would have. Um, when you have a solid grid, right? So if you, let's say that you decide that what you want to do is you want to go with a grid, mm-hmm. right? Right now, your, your fold shows a grid of six. Um, if Wait until you get six or go out and make it, a, make it a mission that you're going to get at least six right. for each of those. So that way, if when those, people go... If those are things you actually want to pursue. Right. Then from there, six. Right. So then have a grid of six in each of them. And I think that you'll be fine. Yeah. So something like that. Other than that, it's sparse, but it's cool. I like, you know what? The, the photography does the talking. That first shot's a great shot. Great shot. I like that shot a lot. Let's see what so, happens when you... Yeah, yeah, that thing is pretty cool. I Uh-oh. think it's pretty cool. I, I don't do sports very well. I don't know sports. I guess that's, that's one of the reasons. I've seen like a baseball game and a football game my entire life. That's it. So, so for me, I don't know sports. But when I see people that can shoot well in sports, that's awesome. I love that shot. Ready for the next one? I am ready for the next one. All right. I love it. <laughs> Absolutely love it. Pretty sure this is Smug Mug. Right? Love, love everything about it. This would be one of my kind of like, yay, you did it. This is cool. All right? I love that the that first. Up a little bit. But yeah, I would. Let's... Okay, so I would. Oh, fine. I would clean up <laughs> the social links just a little bit more. I'm, I tell people all the time, bring your social links up, right? I would put them as navigation, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or, or do something with it. You can put them um, like here. But from there, I would go ahead and I would longer. just. Uh, it, it looks great. I think it looks really, really good. I love the fact that the first picture really kind of just popped right out and showed you. It starts falling apart a little bit when you go into the uh, the the pagination of that kind of stuff. I think that that's a little bit. That that's a little bit. That's that's, that's not bad. Dubai. It's, that is Dubai. Emirates Towers. Right. Yeah. No. So th- so that looks okay. Right? Uh, it looks like, what's his name? Um, Does he say? Right here. Oh, Momin? Yeah, Momin, I think it looks pretty cool, man. I, I, think you've got, I think you've got a pretty good website. I think you've got a great organization. I love the fact that, I love the fact that you chose, when you're, when you're shooting people, you chose a picture that looks right back at you. There's no question that that picture is looking right back at you. Um, I think that that immediately sends a, a, a tone to a person when you're looking at a website. You know, mm-hmm. when you make that kind of selection, sure, it, it's like you're like, oh wow, this is pretty cool. So, so I think that that's um, and see, instead of saying portfolio, 
he says galleries, and then when you click galleries, it actually goes to a page with something on it that shows the galleries right. that he's showing inside of the drop now. So, you so don't that's pretty have good. Have to go directly to one of the galleries. So that's yeah. nice. That looks that looks pretty good. Pretty that's good. good stuff here. Pretty good work. Nice clean stuff. I would say that the like page on the all, on the bottom of those sections. Um, Tends to look a little weird, but other than that, that's not too bad. I'm very curious as to what it is that he's using there for this, that. This is Smug Mug. So, oh, okay, it is a Smug Mug site. Yeah. All right. We're seeing a lot think, of I don't Smug think Mug. It, I don't think it says that anywhere, but oh, they're powered by Smug Mug right there. Powered by um, Smug Mug. So they've got great templates. Yeah. So I think that they'll do okay. And you know what's one of the things that I like a uh, moment about what you did there is that you actually have a logo. For better or for worse, right? And, and, and again, I'm not trying to say that disparagingly. I think that it looks cool. Out but of the you logos have a logo that we've seen today. That's one of the better ones. Right. I think that sure. rule probably one of the other things that people do that's not very good is you go. I'm a photographer. I'm going to design a logo for myself. All right. A photographer does not design logos. It's not. It's like you know. I, I, I don't. I don't understand. You know, your ability to be able to use a hammer mm -hmm. does not necessarily mean that you're a welder. It's like it, they're, they're two completely yeah. different things. Unless you happen to be a graphic designer in addition to being a photographer. Right. If you're a graphic designer and a photographer, like I, I, I have a lot of respect for graphic okay. designers. I am a photographer that wishes he could think like a graphic designer because graphic designers have got something. Just their heads work very, very differently. So, All right. On to the next one. Mike Badua Photography. Get rid of the word photography. We get it. So <laughs> common. Common. That's cool. Uh... See, seeing if it keeps repopulating or if it stops at a certain point. Right. Like you can tell this guy's working. No, it repopulates. Look at that. Right. So that's the portfolio. Okay, so you got headshot theater, and then what's oh, going to happen I is see. it's going to you got all bring it down can, and bring it yeah, back yeah, up. Yeah. Right. I think I think Jeremy Cowart's website is similar to that too, but j I can tell that he's using Photo Shelter by that right there. And go to about. There's your social stuff. Yeah, it looks pretty good. I mean, it's it's clean. It's simple. It's clean. And see, you got the form, but at least you got this right here too. So, get that. That looks, looks pretty good. I like the blog. You hadn't even seen the blog. What? <laughs> you said I like the blog. and hadn't even loaded yet. No, I've seen it. <laughs> okay, that looks Wait, pretty good. Is Let's this, go. Is this a blog though? Okay, there. Yeah, it keeps going. Yeah, yeah. He's okay. just showing. Uh, Let's see, booking. Okay, so then you got. So he's doing this for a living. Here's how you can book him. There's all that info. Cool. And if you want even more stuff, you can go to the archive. So nice, clean, simple. So what, what would he change about this? Let's recap. I'd say probably nothing right now. I think simple and clean is. Except. Uh, yep. Uh, yeah, the photography thing so far. <laughs> all right. Good. Uh. Yep, let's move to the next one. I like this. This looks like, uh, is this the, what's that thing that Scott uses? Exposure? Yeah, is this Exposure. that? Exposure.io? Do they I do, do, do web websites? Oh, Moment Kati is, is in the chat. Thank you, RC and Brad, for bringing up my website. I really appreciate the feedback. Yeah, man, you got it going on, man. You're doing really good. You're doing very, very well. I think, I think that the... Uh, uh, if there's one thing that I think that people overlook when they're working with it is is the selection of the image for the main portion of the site. You know, you made a really, really good choice and mm -hmm. that automatically goes, bam. You grab somebody's attention and you're like, I want to be able to see more of what happens. And you'd be surprised. Like that initial selection that you make on your blog for that one page will make people go, I want to see more. And if even if you saw some stuff that sucked and not that you had stuff that sucked, I think you were doing fine. But... I think that even then you'd be, you'd want to forgive the person because mm -hmm. you're like, wow, you, you had this like first impact. So it's one of those things where you can kind of take that. Um, so that looks pretty good. All right. I'm, Mike, like I said, I've got a lot of windows open, open on my computer, so it's running a little slow. But if you can go back, I just refreshed this page and this image is still taking a while to load. Right. So, so I don't I know if that's it. image size or what, but yeah. if it isn't, we've got a pretty decent connection here. <laughs> Yeah, I would, I would, uh, I would, I would, yeah, I would check that. It's right? a nice image, though. It's a nice image, a nice website. I think that the padding on the left hand side where it says Michael Donahue Photography, if you look at the distance between that and the left, 
Uh, I wish that were a little bit smaller, but that could just be a browser issue. That could be something where well, and you know, it's also like kind of jumbling up right here. Yeah, so there's there's something that's happening there. Uh, I don't know if that's necessarily a well, it can be because you're in a full page on a Mac, which is like a general 15 inch, yeah. I think. Um, website looks pretty good. I think look uh, things things look things look nice. You have good content. Uh, if if you have a big image on your page, you have to make sure that it could load relatively quickly. Yeah, all as, of these are loading slowly. I, as much as yeah, if you're loading high res images into this, you got to be careful. I mean, it's like if it takes more than a second or two for an image to come up, people are not going to want to. People are not going to want to hang out. They're just going to be like, look, I'm sure it's nice, but I, I don't have this I kind got of other time. stuff to do. <laughs> yeah, and they'll leave, and that would suck. That would absolutely suck, especially if, yeah, yeah. that's, I think, I think Michael has been uploading some big pictures. That's all. Yeah. Go ahead. Like you, cause you can upload the full res picture and then tell it only show at a certain size, right? but it still has to load the full res picture and then shrink it down to, to that size. So right. if you go ahead and resize for it, or if you use a service that does it for you, like a smug mug or a photo shelter or whatever, you know, then it'll load more quickly. Right. But as it is right now, I'm going to go ahead and click show thumbnails again. And again, if these are all full res pictures that are having to load and they're only showing at this size, that's yeah. There's, there could time. be a load problem. You might want to take a look at it. So. And, but here's the thing. Like, just but the layout's it. nice. Yeah, close it right now. Just close it. Because okay. that what's going to happen is that's how people are going to think about your – that's how people are going to yeah. think about your stuff. They're going to just turn around and go, you know what? I'm sure it was nice. Click. Okay. But, anyway, but this, I think you're okay. Just change your change your size. This looks like it's the same kind of thing. I think it right? popped you into a new window. Is and then that what here's it did? a new one. The page is in German. Would you like to translate it? Sure. Let's see what kind of fun stuff it translates to. So I wonder if this is the same service that the other person was using. Oh well, yeah, it pops you into exposure. Yeah. So it, it looks like it's exposure, and it looks like exposure is popping people but into individual. I don't know how I feel about it. How it's going from one section to an well, to opening another? up a new window every single time I click something. Oh, is it? It's a new tab every time I click. Yeah. So see what happens right there. Like if that were the case, if you click on blog, it stayed okay. it stayed there that time. Okay, so it stayed there. If it starts popping separate windows while it does that, I start thinking spam, and I just yeah. cancel out of it. So but photography, photo photo, narratives, photo, no. Yeah, you might want to make sure you want you might want to make sure that you keep people if you want to. You want to keep people in one spot, right? So I'm sure Exposure is a great service, but if the service makes you pop a special window every single time that you go to one, you go you go to a page, people now, would get very tired of that very quickly. I and can I can out. see it opening a new tab or window for certain things. Mm -hmm. Like if I knew this was going to take me to a different website that isn't necessarily part of this one. That would be fine, but saying photo narratives, that's not apparent to me that I'm going to be going to a new website, you know? Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. So, anyway. Yeah. Hey, at least, other than at least he's got a good quote here from Jay. Yeah, other than that, he does. There's that. It looks pretty good. All right, well, why don't we do this? Uh, we're getting the break. Arnaldo just swung over and just went, break. So let's get and take a quick break. When we come back, we're going to try to tackle a couple more sites and tackle your feedback right here on The Grid. Stick around. We'll be right back. Is this on? Oh, wow. hot mic. Is this going to be on TV? Welcome to, how shall you say? Ah, yes. Hey everybody, RC, welcome. I am your host, Photography Tips and Tricks. This is a show that's geared for you. We want to take your photography to the next level, and to do that, we'll feature gear reviews. And it has a built-in reflector for an even light spread. We'll show you tips and tricks. It literally stopped 
turn off live view and that's it. You just set your white balance to the perfect light for this situation. When you're shooting video, that entire movement is being recorded. We'll interview people. Something we really tried to achieve with this bag is a bag that just hugs your hip. So for the first time, I have control over all my images in one simple software. 75% of the stuff that we've heard is addressed in 1.1. And we'll provide that next level of education that's gonna make your photography amazing. You have a speed light that's set over there and it's blocked by line of sight. So can we pull a shot off like that? We just like to make sharp pictures here. Make sure you take a look at it here at KelbyTV.com. Buenos días, aquí estamos aquí con el Photography Tips and Tricks, the show that you're going to need for, you know, Welcome back, everybody. RC here with Brad Moore, commenting on websites, critiquing yep. websites here on the grid. Scott is out on vacation. Mm -hmm. Is he on vacation? Or is he traveling? He's on vacation. Yes. Okay, he's he on, on vacation. vacation. Yep. All right, I don't necessarily give away something <laughs> anyone was supposed to. Um, so we're taking your website questions. Right? Just kind of just go through one after the other after the other. Real, um, real quick, before we get back into this, I just want to mention uh, today's guest blog. Oh, okay. I, I'm a fan of it. Uh, it. It's a friend of mine that unfortunately had a bad experience and had his photography gear stolen, but okay. I asked him if he would mind sharing about it. So if you want some tips on not having that happen to you, go over to scottkelby.com and check out today's guest, guest blog from Leo Trevino. Perfect. Wonderful. Yeah. Make sure Leo Trevino right there at scottkelby.com. Oh, I see why you're a fan of it. <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. It has nothing to do with it. So, do you belong to like a beard club? Like, no. Like, is there? No. Actually, are you I, just I, gravitated I, to people with beards? Well, no. I say he's a friend of mine. I've never actually met him, but he's a Tampa photographer, and we have like a bunch of mutual friends. We oh, just okay. never happened to meet. So. Nice. But anyway, nice. So, yeah. I was right. just like, I would just see people with a beard, and I'm like, Brad. But it was he, one. You know, he, we, we went out to lunch one day. He he was going somewhere different. He went in, got his meal, and brought it back out to the car, and he was like. You know, we had the Thai place. Yeah, yeah we go. I, I go get Thai food, and I, I run in, go grab my Thai food, just grab it, and I turn around and I look over. There's a table, and over. there's a table of people, and uh, I walk out, and I'm like, Brad, you know what, dude? I think a bunch of your friends are in there, and he's like, That's funny because there are. How'd you know they were my friends? And I'm like, <laughs> They just they were wearing like it. <laughs> they were wearing plaid and had beards. <laughs> And he's like, yeah, no, actually, they were just texting with them. They're yeah. just, we just, they're actually inside. Anyway, all right. I'm like, back to the websites. Sorry. Uh, all right. So Hilmar, uh, Hilmar, who used to live in Orlando, and now we miss her terribly because she's not here. Uh, Hilmar is a phenomenal photographer. Um, Hilmar's website, the 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 logo and the navigation could use a little help. All right. So the images are getting cut off at the bottom. So I think that that part kind of sucks. It's just, it's just a question of probably just choosing a different template. That's all it is. Well, and Mar, you know, and it, the other thing that I want to point out is we are viewing these on a 15 inch MacBook screen, which it's going to, websites are going to vary from screen size to screen size. If you were viewing it on a, you know, cinema display mm -hmm. or, you know, a Dell monitor or something that's bigger, it's not necessarily going to cut it off. Right. But that's where your website needs to be adaptable to different screen sizes. Right. So right. So for the most part, and, and and I don't know. I mean, I guess I guess I would be upset. Like, like my name, right? So everybody calls me RC. I've called, been mm -hmm. called RC for, you know, the better for, part of thirty yeah. years, I think. But um, my name is Rafael. Right. Rafael is Joe. My mom's Mexican. My dad's Puerto Rican. Um, so I don't know how I would feel if everybody was calling me Gilmar. Right. You know, so I could see where she could be upset over the fact that she can do that, that she just posts it and goes, it's pronounced Hilmar. Right? You got to you got to do it in Hilmar's voice. It's pronounced Hilmar. So it, it's, it's one of those things. But I don't know if it necessarily works for this. Right. Hilmar photography. Right. It just looks it looks a little bit. It looks that it looks a little disjointed, which sucks because she is a phenomenal right. photographer. That's her. So um, she does very, very well. I, the navigation just needs to be cleaned up. Other than that, the work is stunning. So there's nothing wrong with that. And again, um, it looks like this is smug mug. Yeah, it looks like it's smug mug. You just need a different template. I would actually literally go with a template that pushes all. Of, oh, there's the hamburger hat. <laughs> I've wore the hamburger hat. So I would take something and move it over to the left hand side. Right. I, I would put the logo and all of that stuff over to the left hand side and then from there have all of those sections there. So But I like how she at least has again portfolio and then she has three different portfolios, beauty, creative, corporate, 
And then she has galleries where it's like, if you want to see more, here's more. Right. Yeah. So the separation, I think, is pretty good. All right, what is she talking about on the blog? Let's click on the blog. The, and see, this is what I was going to point out. This, <laughs> see, we just went to a new tab. Yeah, I, w- so, I mean, if you have navigation that people can go to from one point to another point to another point, keep everybody in the same, keep everybody in the same navigation. Whoa, whoa, keep going. <laughs> um, if you're going to bring somebody to a new page, a new website, a new something, see, she's great. I think she's so good. I really, really do. She's, you know what? She's got a great eye for stuff. So, um, if you're going to bring somebody to a new website, right, then use a new window. If you're going to bring people to the same website, then use the same window. And the navigation will, is not uniform here. The navigation the is not uniform. The font's different. The order of links is different. So you might want to just kind of clean most of that stuff up. And that could be something, if it's a small black template, it could be something as quick as just choosing a new template and you'll be pretty good. So, so uh, other than that, yeah, other than that, she looks good. It's fine. Let's go to the next one. All right. Hey, and see... Still? See, it opened so, something I clicked here opened up in a new window. Then yeah, so, it's anyway. weird. It just it doesn't look good. Right? All right, JVL photography. JVL photography. Uh, you know who this is, right? Let's. No, I don't. Do you know uh, Justin Van Leeuwen? Oh, okay. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Resize his window. Resize the window. Make it a little smaller. Justin, come on, dude. You take me to a blank page. Ah, <gasps> a blank page. We we can give what? Justin a little bit of crap because we we know him. What? No, no. <laughs> It's Dude, blank. that sucks. Why would you do that? If I click on it, don't go to portfolio. Turn that into an anchor. Get rid of that. Oh, man, I was just thinking you look professional, and now you don't. <laughs> that sucks. How do, you, how do you feel about this just just covering, know Justin. covering the images? Uh, oh, Justin gives people crap all the time on Twitter and stuff, so yeah, he's, I don't he's good. Think it's, I don't think it's bad. I don't think, I, I don't think it's bad. I, th- I, I wish I could see more of the picture, but I don't, I don't think it's horrible. It's okay. Let's see. I wish there were a way that once you got into the, once you got into the, eh, now it starts getting bad. So one thing I, I, you're, you have the hand here, which tells me you can click, but when you click, it does nothing. So you have to actually go over here to the navigation, which is tiny and kind of hidden underneath everything rather than seeing a big arrow here that goes from one side to the other. Right. So it's on autoplay, which you can pause, but then you can then go from image to image here. There's a, there's a conversation in the chat that's asking about whether or not I can have a conversation in Spanish. Yes, I am fluent in both Spanish and English and speak sign. So um, I can sign and I can speak. I can't. Um, but yes, I, I, I grew up Mexican, mom, Puerto Rican, dad, fluent Spanish. Uh, learned both at the same time. I was born here, born in the Bronx, uh, just in case people need to know. Uh, I do like... I would probably, you know what, uh, Justin, I, I, I'm going to say to say it, it looks clean enough, but I would probably push all of that. Look, there's a oh, section look, that says hide, hide menu there. and show menu. That's okay. I think it's... I do like having like a full screen image. Right. Which, generally speaking, has a lot of impact because of the size of the image. And it works here because Justin has good photography. Mm-hmm. But where it doesn't work is... If you're just a bad photographer, then you're just getting a full screen of crap. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, you know. One of the things that one of the things that I like about it also is that when you when you when you use a website like that, and I'm I'm doing this a lot more and more and more. Um, I'm tending to shoot and then I crop down to like a sixteen by nine. Mm-hmm. So I tend to have, have that cinematic look. Yeah, that cinematic format. Yeah. So I think that when I think that what happens is um, when you take the top and the bottom uh, off. It makes it look like that, and, mm-hmm. and if you do a full screen like that on a browser window, mm-hmm. it has the same kind of feel. So, so I think it's pretty good, right? Other than that, it looks fine. I think it looks okay. I, if I had to nitpick it, I would nitpick the hovering menu, but I don't think you lose too much. If you went to a solid white bar and left it on the right, hand, left it on the left hand side, you'd be okay. But it's a minor, minor detail. I wonder if there's a way to have maybe change around the logo a little bit so that it's not as wide, and then you're because you've got all this white space here. Yeah, I mean, really, the logo is the, and the logo is what's space. messing it up, right? Yeah. So, yeah, the logo is messing it. Like, if you put the JVL photography under the logo, then, or just call it JVL, mm-hmm. and then at that point, I think it would be pretty cool because you'd be able to condense a lot of that kind of and stuff. We know that it's jvlphoto.com because that's that's where we are. Yeah, I would just put, <laughs> I would just make the logo and just make it JVL, and that's it. 
or JVL, and then under it, put photography. Right. Really, really, really small or something. Um, the next one? Yep. Yep, All let's right. go to the next one. Sean Robertson. All right. I believe this is a scroller that goes to the left. Portraits. So you get now, portrait. what I like about that is you do have a good amount, and I bet you 100 to 1 that this thing is going to be responsive and on iPad, which I happen to like. So here, here's a question because I hear different schools of thought on it. Is this too much or is that – well, because uh, – let's see. Let's go to fashion. Because this is just two basically galleries and not necessarily here's my portfolio. Right. So would you say – you should have these galleries. That's great, but have a portfolio that shows less. Um, no, I I think it's like I it? think it's pretty decent. Okay. I think it's it, I think it's pretty decent. And you know what? None of the work that he's doing there sucks. She. Oh, she. Uh, Sean. Oh, yeah, Sean. Okay, Sean Robertson. So you got Where's our Sean contact from? here. Uh, she's over in England. Oh, nice. Okay, so go back to her portraits. No, Sean's got it going on. I love her name. S-I-A-N. You don't see Sean like that around here all that often. Okay, so if I were to nitpick it, Sean, I would say get rid of one of get these. rid of one of the get rid of one of those two. Right? Look look at the, just stare at those two. Just stare at those two pictures right there. Left and right. Which one is better? Right? Pick one. Now all of a sudden, one. now you're looking now you're looking at the one that's on the right. For me, I'm looking at the one that's on the right, where you can't see her other like, you literally can't see the other eye socket and she's not looking at the camera. And I'm like, eh, it's probably not as good as the one that's on the left. So all of a sudden Got now... her hair here. Yeah, like her hair flow is nice there. That looks wonderful. She's more connected to she's the camera She's more connected here. to the camera there. So now you look at the one on the right and you're like, eh, eh. Still a great shot. Yeah. But now is... Uh, but now I'm like, ah, oh, man, now I'm looking at those two and it's like a mole. Right? See? You're like, mole. Like, mole, mole. <laughs> <laughs> just mole, mole, look at the right one. Awesome so, uh, so that part, so that part, I think is uh, is something that's. But see, now I thought that was kind of cool. This becomes a series almost. That becomes a series, right? It's a good way to break through that, right? Same yeah. kind of setup, broken into series. She can shoot. She's good. <laughs> She's really, really good. Small, small nitpicks. I love the. I love the. Uh, <laughs> I guess she's watching. She's like, oh. okay, RC. I'll try to remove that one. It's good. It's good. It's just not as good as the other, in my opinion. Again, you could have people that could like the other one and be fine. So, so she's got her about page here with contact info and social media, but then there's an actual contact page that has a form. Would you say at least move the contact stuff off of the about page and onto here? Yeah, I would put everything. I would put all of your contact stuff on your contact page. How do you feel right. about your captures? Captures. I. You know what? I like captures. Yeah. Okay. I, they're they're annoying to a lot of people, but you know what? They're less annoying to. Your email account. <laughs> yeah, me. When I'm watching, like, I, I look at that stuff on my website, and it's like 7,000 spam emails. Yeah. So a simple capture is good. Sean's got it going on. All I right. Like on to the next one. So you, How many more do you want to do? we got a couple minutes left. Uh, do you want, do you we can do this to... one. We can do this okay. one a little bit fast. You know what? I love the hover over social icons. I think that that part is great. On the yes. left-hand side, makes it really easy to follow socially if you're going to be doing a lot of social stuff. David Gibson Photography. It, David Gibson Photography, your logo looks like an eye doctor. Right? If you have tear problems, go to David Gibson Optical. It's like, it, it, it doesn't look like, it, I know you're trying to say eye, but I don't think it works. Um, did it just wink? No, it didn't wink. It uh, just scrolled up and down. Okay, never mind. But uh, it's... Like the width of the page, like I just saw a photo here. Yeah, there's something like, wrong oh, with your navigation. Oh, for, there's, yeah. yeah, there's something wrong with the navigation. The navigation doesn't fit the color scheme of the rest of the website. The images are a little bit too big. Good stuff. No, nothing wrong with big images, yeah. but... But you got to kind of size them down gotta, a little bit. You got to think of uh, popular screen sizes, and the 15 inches is a very popular yeah. size. I would be very concerned. I would be very concerned about a couple of different things here. Again... Powered by Website Builder. Get rid of that. Right? Powered by Website Builder. Once you click on that, GoDaddy. GoDaddy makes it easy for you to make web pages and install WordPress. I can show you how to install a WordPress site in GoDaddy in like six clicks. Right? So get rid of this. There's no need for you to use it. Right? So then from there, David Gibson Photography, David Gibson Photography. That looks a little weird. I would get rid of that. We already know what your website is because, because we see it. it right here. <laughs> right? Anybody within the last... 
30 years of using a computer would probably know that. So that's redundant information. This almost looks like it was a white, a black website that he tried to turn white or a white website that he tried to turn black. So. Not a whole lot of news. Uh, not a whole lot of news. If you're going to have a news section, put news in it. Yeah. All right. At least so, make something up. <laughs> yeah. Oof. All right. Move. Go out of that one. You got some work you got to do. Now, David Gibson, this is what I will say. I don't want to necessarily just talk smack about your website. Um, I do, but... Because we want to help. Yeah, we want to help. I'm telling you this out of love. Now, what I would do is this. Find me on Twitter. Go to twitter.com slash aboutrc. Show me your website. If I can help you, I can point you into the right direction and do something. I don't want to just go, you suck. It does. But we're going to (laughs) help. We can make it better. We can make it better. help. So, uh, because other than that, I mean, your work is great. I just want to be able to see more of it. So that's fine. All right. Next. Let's, let's, let's do the traditional grid, grid thing. Go over a little bit. Let's do what? Two more? Two more. All right. All right. Perfect. You, you, you say that one. I don't, I don't know how to say that. Oh, uh, that's Guillaume. Guillaume Fournier. All right. Uh, Guillaume Fournier photography. Again, get rid of the word photography. All right. Scrolls to the left. Looks pretty good. Studio. Go to click on studio. Right, so he's got studio work. Right, Guillaume does okay. So Not bad. So Marriage, cool. and he there's there's an E here, so I'm assuming they're in a different part of. I'm the guessing world. French is what I'm yeah. guessing. Because it's it. Yeah. Right, paysage is landscape. So there's that. You know what, Guillaume, you're great. You're fine. Yeah. Get rid of the word. Get rid of the word photography. But other than that. Um, There's a social up here. Social looks pretty good. Share looks like it's pretty good. What's that lower right-hand corner right there? Using format. So oh, format. That's, that's Format's the, really good. I like format. I'm a big, I'm a, I'm a big smug mug, Squarespace kind of guy. Like, Squarespace, if I have to, smug mug, you have. You, Squarespace, it's like, for me, and then again, I've used all of these different sites. Up to you, whichever one you want. All of them are really, really mm-hmm. good. Uh, Squarespace, if you need to get a quick website up, Squarespace will do it. They're pretty good. We, we're we actually trying to do another class about how to be able to set up in Squarespace. Okay. So I think that that's pretty good. Um, Smug Mug, I love. Like, mm-hmm. I'm a huge mug. I have my own WordPress website, which is option number three. Um, but I tend to use Smug Mug because it holds my portfolio as well as deals with a lot of um, kind of commercial stuff okay. that you're doing. So, like... And, and it's dumb. It's just like dad work, right? So it's like, I'll go out and I'll go shoot pictures for an Easter party, mm-hmm. right? So I go shoot those pictures for an Easter party. I don't want to come home. I have to give them to my wife and be like, all right, we'll give these to the people. Tell me right. which ones they want so that they can order. I just, just go throw in, them on Smug Mug, throw them on Smug Mug, throw a private link, send it to her, and I don't Done. even have to talk about it anymore. Yeah. So that part, I think, is pretty good. So to do that for your work, I think Smug Mug rocks for that kind of stuff. Format is another one of those that you see that's out there that's really, really good. Uh, I tend, th- They do all right. Uh, Ray Martinez, photography. Martinez. Uh, storytelling. What is that? Storytelling and what? Uh, connecting with audiences through images. Okay. So just, uh, that may as well, uh, what is it? Go back up, back up. (laughs) Storytelling and connecting with audiences through images. May as well say, explaining the obvious in a sentence. It's like, as opposed to the people who want to not connect with audiences with their pictures. It's... It's not a tagline. It's 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 redundant. Uh, that said, you should okay, right? There's nothing wrong with it. Right? Commercial so portraits. Kind of two main categories there. How do you? Hmm. I'm not sure how I feel about it. Kind of being split. You've got your navigation up here, and then you've got more down here, basically. Any thoughts on that? What was that? How it's kind of split here. Then you got this white space, and then you got two galleries, but you've got all your stuff up here and you yeah, don't and you don't even have all of the other you got commercial and portraits that's what's <coughs> done here but then you've got events and nature that don't have anything down here right a, a, a couple of people are asking like why would you get rid of the word photography one of the common things that you see getting rid of the word photography getting the word of the word photography uh, does the word photography help with seo i i would argue that it doesn't i would argue that people are trying to to get themselves in a position where if they get into a web search that people see oh blah 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 photography but you could make it you know like like and, and not that I want to use an extreme uh let's not that I want to use an extreme um example of this right but if you look right here right Peter Lake right Peter Lake USA fine art photography right you could do this right nowhere 
has has it said I'm just going to keep quiet on all of the stuff that you see and just focus on that. Right? So it doesn't say anything about him being a photographer. There's a section that says the artist. He doesn't even call himself a photographer. He calls himself an artist. As well, you should. Photographers are artists. But for the most part, get rid of my big hero six, be my guys. But for the most <laughs> part, um, there's no need to tell people that it's a photographer. It's redundant, I think. Um, I think that we just tend to want to cling to it. It could be wrong. Uh, layout could, could use a little bit more work. I, and, and you know what? Like somebody just said, Tom Smith photography versus Tom Smith. I happen to think it sounds more foo-foo if you just go Tom Smith. Right? If you just go Tom Smith and you, all you show is pictures, then it's almost kind of like Jared in, as, as a jeweler here in the United States. We have Jared as a jeweler. Right? So if you just put Tom Smith and you just show amazing work, amazing work, amazing work, amazing work, then people are like, oh, have you seen the work of Tom Smith? Oh, my God, I can't believe Tom Smith. But it's like, have you seen the work of Tom Smith photography? It's like, mm, you know, a little different. Uh, so layout yeah. seems okay. It, it's fine. It's it's just a little disjointed. I think your layout needs to get cleaned up a little bit. Displays all of the, the stuff. Doesn't take up too much. Doesn't take up too much. Uh, for and then, but then you go full scale, and then all of a sudden it, it looks a little different. So be consistent on one of them. Other than that. Eh. It's okay. It's not bad. Let's do one more, and then we gotta get out of here. All right. Sharon Snyder. Doggy. Sharon Snyder. Love the dog. Don't like the navigation. Pet family and children's photographer. Courtney. Courtney, British Columbia. Pet family and children's photographer. Right. Now, can you highlight that text? Does it let you highlight it? Okay. So they're probably doing it for SEO. I would probably just hide that still and move your navigation up to the right hand side. It gives you a little bit more space. So let me click portfolio and see if anything happens. Nope. See, that person did it right. Right? You click on portfolio, nothing happens. I, but it forces you to go dogs. to, dog, well, go back to the homepage. Go back to the homepage. Go to portfolio. Nothing. See? But then. Not bad. There. Simple stuff. Simple design stuff. So, again, me being nitpicky. I would, I would say this is more galleries than portfolio. Again, to me, portfolio is here's my best 20 or so images rather than here's multiple galleries. Mm -hmm. So, But it looks like they're at least all uniform from one gallery to another. Let's see what the blog has. Looks like there's content on the blog. Yeah, That's good. Content on the, it seems like it's okay. I mean, the only nitpick that we would have would be the navigation at the top. Other than that, we should be good. What 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 are you nitpicking about it? Because you said just you, a little, you just said you just don't just a like little it. too big. Just a little too big. This stuff you could probably hide on the right hand side. Just move it up a little tiny bit. But I mean, other than that, it's fine. I think it's it does exactly what you needed to do. It's cutting off the pictures. That's it. If you move yeah. that up just a tiny bit, you can cut off. You know, you can go back to, you know, you can get back some space for the pictures. Other than that, you're good to go. All right. Not bad. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Anyway, uh, that's pretty much it. We yeah. tried to bang out as many sites. Now, guys, there are more sites. Mm -hmm. this, is what I will, this is what I will tell you. If you submitted a site, the next time that we do this, we'll hold all of those sites as well. Right? We'll, we usually blast this on my Facebook, on Brad's Facebook, on Scott's Facebook. We'll go through all of those. I'm laughing because you're saying that without thinking of the logistics of doing that. Right. And, I, and I have to figure that out. Yeah. I would say resubmit. We will take all of those things <laughs> and we will send them to Brad. And Brad will make sure that all of that stuff gets taken care of. Um, but, but yeah, no, I mean, resubmit. We, we love taking a look at your work. We, lo uh, we love being able to try to help with most of this kind of stuff. So if there's anything that we can do, please let us know. Now, Brad, if people wanted to find you, where could they find you? BeMoreVisuals.com. BeMoreVisuals.com? That's B-M-O-O-R-E, because it's my last name. Or I think, hold on, let me, let me, let me do real quick, check it. Yeah, it's BradTakesPictures.com. I registered that because that's easier to remember. And there you redirects. go. Now you are paying attention. Brad takes pictures. Redirects to be now more visuals. You're a, now you're paying attention, Brad. <laughs> I was going to get on you. I was going to be like, be more visuals. I'm like, do you know how hard it is for people to think about be more? Be more. Because there's so many different variations on it. Yeah. BradTakesPictures.com. Yeah. No one will forget that. Yep. 
No one will forget that. That's awesome. <laughs> All right, great. Anyway, uh, Peach Pit ebook deal. Make sure you go to peachpit.com slash Kelby1, enter in the code Kelby1. Hey, that's And you'll get 40% off of Glenn's book. Glenn's book is the Photoshop workbook, a phenomenal book from a good friend of ours, Glenn Love Dewis. Glenn. Make sure you take a look at it, and you can take a look at it for 40% off. Peachbit.com slash Kelby1. Now, RC, did you know that there's only 13 days left I before did not Photoshop know World? I that. Ticket price increases by $100. The price is going to be going up, so save today at photoshopworld.com. So, now, what are we going to give away? We're going to give away a copy of this book, the Lightroom CC book for photographers, as well as... I wish I'm playing with Arnaldo. Arnaldo's going to come over and do the zoom on it, and as soon as he gets over to the camera, I put it down. But here you go. Photoshop Lightroom CC book for digital photographers. I apologize. So... There's the book. It's here by Mr. Scott Kelby. You can win this as well. We're also going to give away a ticket to one of your seminars. Yes, I'm going where, back. Where are you going? Uh, oh, my goodness. I've got a bunch of different places that I'm going to go to. I'm going to go to kelby1.com slash live so that we could see that. The, the Lightroom CC Power Tour. Look at that handsome Get devil. Up close and personal with my forehead. I, will pr <laughs> I promise we will have a new picture for this. That's, that's a Peter Hurley picture, though, isn't it? I don't know. I don't know. But it, Maybe that is a lot of head. <laughs> it's like, heed, move, no. <laughs> so so where, where are you going? Uh, oh, they haven't even. They haven't. Um, oh, it's not even up yet. Yeah, they haven't published dates. This is, on so, it. This is so new. It's so new that we're that we're gonna go ahead and do that. But anyway, so what are you gonna do? Go to kelby1.com/contest. Enter in your name. Enter your email address. Tell us what you want to win. One of those tickets. Why don't I do this? Why Hold don't on. I give you? No, no. I'm gonna give you. No, no. Let's go to a different one. Okay. Let's, let's okay. go to a different one. How about this? The moment it clicks, seminar tour. Joe McNally's out there on tour right now. He's got a ton of different cities. Right? Portland, Lansing, Calgary, Miami, Rosemont, Nashville, Toronto, Philadelphia, Ottawa, and Orlando. Are you in one of these cities? Would you like to go and see the man himself, Mr. Joe McNally? Let us know inside of those comments, and one of you guys will, will win one of those. My dates are coming up pretty soon. As soon as I get rid of the forehead picture and do all of that kind of stuff, we'll be fine. <laughs> we'll get it out there. But anyway, thanks so much for stopping by, Brad. Yep. Thank you for Absolutely. leaving the table and coming and joining me here. Thanks for having me. Yeah, it's been it's been good. It's been good. Big thanks over to my friend Latanya, who's actually sitting here in the audience. Hi, we're Latanya. very happy. She's we we teased that we were going to pull her onto the. Yeah, we told her. We were like, just no. like, we're, Latanya, you're going to come over here and you, you can come and hang out here. But anyway, we're always happy to see her, and we're always happy to see every single one of you. Tune in next week. Scott Kelby will be back right here on the grid. We'll see you guys soon. Take care.